hi i'm Kay. in this video i'm going to talk a little bit about my my opinions okay you're here to hear what another person thinks and feels so i know a lot of you guys aren't like this but some people that stumble across content probably are going to be mad anyway but that's my disclaimer i'm here to hear my opinions i'm not going to try to change yours don't try to change mine thanks okay <laughs> so i'm going to be talking about why i'm no longer going to be supporting sims 4 just sims in general i'm not going to be giving them my money anymore and probably not going to be making content on it anymore so if you are subscribed for sims don't hold your breath probably not going to be playing it so i just want to get into talking about my thoughts i literally just started recording if i'm a little scatterbrained that's why i didn't plan this out so i think i've already been drifting away from sims and how much i've been wanting to spend my money on the packs it's been probably like a year or two where i've been more hesitant on purchasing 40 dollars packs <laughs> i kind of told myself i would buy every single expansion pack like i would have collected all of them and i was on the kind of hustle on collecting all of these packs for a period of my life i literally spent like 100 or 200 dollars at once because I was trying to collect all the packs, I thought that I needed to in order to be a like Sims content creator. I had like this Instagram account a long time ago, it was a Sims Instagram account, and I felt like, oh my gosh, I need to have all the packs or I can't be like a Sims creator. I don't know why I thought this. I guess just me being influenced by other creators always having all the packs. And mind you, a lot of these other creators have these packs because they don't have to pay for them which is great but anyway <laughs> i was just getting influenced by online and creators having all the things you could do and then the hype when it's the advertisement really the advertisement when these creators are showing what the game does and what the pack does and a lot of the times it is only talking about good things and making it seem like you need this in your game if you don't have it you're missing such a like key part and i just felt like well i want to play sims i love sims i don't want to miss anything so i was just spending money that frankly i didn't really have i can't get that money back and that kind of sucks but you know it's it's whatever it made me happy at the time i guess i don't know yeah it's just way too expensive for a game that constantly feels like it's not finished and honestly i can't even tell you like how many packs i bought just so that i can fill out those little green blobs like when the sales came i was just like oh my god this is the only time i can get them cheap i gotta spend two hundred dollars what? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like, why did I do that? I think it was $100. I don't think it was 200 I think it was $100. It's just that easily influenced mind that I had at the time. Thankfully, I don't, I would love to say I don't have any more. <laughs> so yeah, the cost is just way too much. If I calculated how much I spent on all of them, it's probably going to be a ridiculous price and it's just not worth it with how much content is in it. I really changed my mind when I was playing Sims 3 and I realized that one pack, Supernatural, is like six packs in Sims 4. What I mean by that is like Supernatural has werewolves, vampires, fairies, witches. All of those are four different packs in the Sims 4 and you can get and play with all of those dynamics in sims 3 sims 3 pets you had horses cats and dogs farming capabilities and stuff and then you broke that down so much in sims 4 with cottage living horses cats and dogs cats and dog stuff pack that's a cat or a horse sometimes he sounds like a horse with his trotting around <laughs> yeah it's just so much that they broke down to just try to get as much money as possible and i just feel like ugh, it just hurts that i gave them money it hurts I wish I could take it back, but I can't. So yeah, I mean, I think we're all aware that Sims 4 is extremely limited. Uh, it doesn't have cars. You can't teach your kids how to drive. There's just like a lot of things that the community hasn't been asking for. And it's just been ignored constantly. And then they're just like, hey, you want Star Wars? It's like, bro, when did we ask for that? <laughs> I definitely don't mind putting my money into people that I support and I want to succeed so there's a lot of games that I just love the franchise so much like the next Dragon Age game I don't care how much it is bro I'm spending all my money on it I don't like putting my money into people I don't share um I don't like the way you guys work there's a word for it you guys know what I'm saying it's fine the real deal breaker for me was the new pack 
I watched the trailer and it truly made me sick to my stomach. I'm gonna say it right now. I'm a Christian woman and every day I just try to be as Christ-like as possible. One of those things is being careful what I consume and what I see, what I hear, all that stuff. When I was watching the trailer, it's literally a lust pack. Like it is a pack about lust. It's not romance. It's not wedding stuff. It's literally like super sexual. There was a scene where this couple was together and then they got cheated on and then they they try to romance the grim reaper what is that one sim was kissing one sim and then just kissing the other sim right next to it and then one died of like a heartbreak i was like can we not do this like it's not funny it's not sexy especially considering that i think sims 4 is e for every let me fact check that okay it's teen right teen okay why is it euphoria bro like euphoria is not for teens like euphoria is for adults who want to watch teens which is weird too don't even get me started on that but anyway <laughs> that is an appropriate content especially because this game is so cartoony you're talking about you got a cottage living pack and then the next pack you have like horses and then hey just adultery <laughs> i hated it and i was like this is gross i don't like how they're making this like it's just fun it's funny no it's not funny it's not fun it's not just play if you want to do that stuff like there's wicked whims which i also think there's a problem i mean i participated in that before and i didn't see anything wrong with it before until i realized it was like cor kind of corrupting my mind a little bit it's desensitizing you to things that should not be out there it's literally like sims pornography and I know before I had such strong beliefs in what I should be consuming and what I should see and how I should protect my eyes and my spirit. I was downloading all those mods. It's funny. It's so funny that now she has a disease. Like, it's not funny. It's just not. Like, ugh. It's just too much. I don't want to participate or support anybody who's trying to normalize things that are extremely problematic and wrong. I think we have to be careful what we're consuming. I think we have to be careful what we're giving our money to and who we're allowing to influence us. Even video games can be such a huge influence on things, movies and music and all that stuff. Why do you think when you're happy, you listen to a sad song, you're like depressed? because these things actually influence why do you think that you're okay with how your house looks until you open up pinterest and you see all these decorations and now you're like my house is ugly i gotta do something about it it's not influencing in a positive way so i think we just have to be really careful and for me personally i'm just out i don't want to support it anymore i don't want to be associated with it especially if i am walking a certain way and they're like did you get the new pack no i didn't get the new pack what what did i look like i'm not playing that like, I'm just not playing that. I don't like the direction they're going. I think it's wrong and I think it's harmful to our spirits, our souls, how we, how we view each other. That's my opinion. This is how I feel. If you don't feel that way, I don't want to have an argument. Like, I just don't. Just letting you guys know, just because my channel was Sims and like one of the most popular videos on this channel was the Sims video. And when I made that video, I was so depressed. And that storyline was how I felt at the time about like my situation and me playing a story that I felt was like mine. And I, it just made me feel horrible. Like, that's why I didn't touch that series again. And I'm just like not revisiting certain things. Like, I did a whole Wicked Whim series that I privated because I was like, dude this is not this is gross like i just feel differently about it now so i'm acting on my beliefs and what i feel so strongly about i'm done wiping my hands clean of it as i talk about it more i realize how much i don't want to associate with it i have not played it at all i've just been playing games that i feel better about playing so i'm just being careful so that's what i think uh so yeah you should probably unsubscribe <laughs> but yeah farewell sims it was nice knowing you but your time is now done in my life. Love you. God bless you. Besitos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.